So now that we've got our weapon all set up, let's go ahead and talk about LODs. Luckily in Instalot, it's a really easy thing to do. So if we go over here to Instalot and go to Optimize, you know, just to make sure, let's go ahead and go back to our setup here. And I'm going to say Reset Settings to Default here. There we go. So now we're in the Optimize tab. And already we have percent triangles down to 50. So if I have this node selected with all of my objects underneath, it's going to bring this object down 50%. We're at 10,000 polys. Well, almost 11,000 polys right now. We have all of these importances set to normal because it is going to use all of this information to give us a proper LOD and shading for our object. If this was a character, you could do skeleton optimization. We'll get to that in a while uh, with other assets. Everything else looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Optimize Selected Meshes. And boom, it's almost instant. And if we go ahead and move these over, you click off, you're going to see we have a, a second version of this. They look almost identical to me. I'm having a hard time telling them apart. And if I select these ones here, you're going to see now we're down to 5,400 as opposed to the 10,800 uh, of this one. So if you want to, you could you know keep optimizing down 25%, 12%, etc., cetera, uh, and make your LOD groups. What you can do instead, though, is let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and set up a batch profile that will go ahead and make all of those LODs at once for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this percent triangles. We're going to go up to 100. Now with all the settings that we like, I'm going to right click this optimize selected meshes and do save as batch profile. We'll go ahead and label this LOD 0. And then we'll change this to 50. Again, right click optimized, save as batch profile. LOD 1, change this to 25. Right click. LOD2, and finally, 12.5, right click, LOD3, and now what we can do is under install, let's arrow over until we see the batch tab, and there we have our profiles here, so we'll do LOD1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, select our pistol here, we'll say execute batch, and there's all of our LODs created. Now one more thing you can do, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Let's arrow all the way over to the Setup tab here. And underneath the Global Settings, check on this Create LOD Groups. And then we'll go back here to Batch. All our LODs are checked on. We'll choose the Pistol again. And we'll hit Execute Batch. There we go. It only takes just a few seconds. And now you have your LODs all in uh, individual groups. If you want to go ahead and put those LODs in a group and apply the LOD group attribute in Maya, go ahead and check that on. Let's go ahead and delete all that. We'll go back to Pistol here. We'll go to go back to Batch here. And hit, hit Execute Batch. And now we've got LOD groups with the LOD group attribute created. That means as we open this up, you're going to see LOD0 is activated. Let's go ahead and here go to Show and turn off our grid here. So as we're zoomed in our object, LOZ, LOD0 is going to be active. And then as we back away from our object, once we get to a certain distance, LOD1 is going to kick in. And then as we back up more, LOD2 is going to kick in. As we get back up even more, LOD3 is going to kick in. So that's all based on that camera distance away from your object. And one thing I noticed, I'm going to go ahead and click one of these objects. We're going to go back to our attribute editor, go to the pistol mat. And our emissive is coming in red. Our emissive intensity right now, we've plugged in our emissive map. We scroll down here to where it says emissive intensity. You can go ahead and crank that up. And then we'll go ahead and uh, that'll dial in our orange color that we had originally. Anyway, so there we go. If you want to see these things side by side, let's see if we can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hide our original pistol here. We've got LED 1 through 3 here. I'm going to hit Shift P. And we'll get them out of that LOD group there. And now we've got LOD 0, LOD 1, LOD 2, and LOD 3. And you see these are the percentages that they go down. So there's our highest at 10,800. This is 5420, 2710, and finally 1342. And even that 1342 one, it has all the important shapes built in. All the forms are there. UVs and textures look great. So all the way down the LODs, uh, everything's looking really nice.